everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for a 69.3.3 full self-driving video. This is going to be my first video of this series. Um, I went up for um, up to Boone, North Carolina for a couple days um, right as soon as I got the update. And I didn't have time to make any videos up there. But I'm so far, this seems to be, again, no worse than the previous version. Maybe a couple minor improvements. I wanted to make a note. So we're in Astral, North Carolina right now. I don't know if this is going to load quick enough. Um, but I just went... Hour 55 minutes, 86 miles from Boone. That's that low because we went down the mountain. Um, that's this road. Up for this road, up 221. Um, up to Boone, which is in this block that hasn't loaded yet. But... Um, much of two-lane road. A bunch of full self-driving. This is the only high freeway part. And three disengagements for the whole time. One of which, on, um, I'll, you'll see the dash cam footage right now. I, I'm looking back at it. It looks like the guy wasn't gonna hit me, but from my point of view, he looked like he was gonna hit me. So I disengaged and got out of there. Um, the first one was uh, I got in the wrong lane and a little bit sketchy situation. Uh, the third one was just right here. Um, it was coming up this road right here there was a car in the middle of the intersection right here and my wanted to la change lanes a little bit too close it probably would have been fine but i was extra cautious so it went that whole distance on really um potentially i knew agreed for sure disengagements but like really impressive but we're gonna do this actual drive here and uh, I'm not going to do my blind turn test. This is going to be Asheville, um, downtown Asheville, and then we're going to go to do the new Belgian Drive. And then after that, we are going to do test route two back from my parents. And yeah, then maybe tomorrow we'll do some. It's Saturday right now. But um, let's see what I can do. I don't have my. The reason why I'm not doing blind turn test is I don't have my wide angle camera. So, we're just going to have to get that out of your way. There's a car coming from the left. My car is just going to stop here. That car right there came. Okay, good. Well, yeah, good. Okay, good. <laughs> um, press and accelerator to get it to go. Get it to go. So, it's staying in the correct lane. It needs to stay in this lane. Um, so... Again, no worries. I haven't done Asheville for at least a couple versions, so it's gonna, this is a pretty good step for Asheville. I don't, I I was coming past Asheville. It's the only reason I'm doing Asheville. It takes the whole day for me to come up here, so um, I won't do it every version anymore because there's not enough changes. And so this is why I'm coming up here today. So I've been pretty happy with this. The one change that seems like I've noticed is that it's seeming to stop for uh, uh, recognized traffic light sooner. I'm not certain on that. If you guys uh, have this version, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'm curious how that responds. It, it seems a little bit better. Uh, we're going to see up here is a roundabout coming. It's slowed for this person here. Great. That was good. It slowed soon enough not to make it her freak out, basically. Um, that was very natural, I'd say. This yes, roundabout coming up here, we're going to see how good it does. The last couple updates have been really good with roundabouts. At least the one in Hendersonville. Um, and so I suspect this one's going to... It's not jinx it, but, you know... Oh, don't need to stop, stop. Oh. Okay. That, while that car wasn't going all the way through, that's exactly, I would have stopped too. I would have slowed down sooner because I would have assumed that car would have gone through. So it, we're good to go. Fortunately, again, I don't have the wide angle lens. Yeah, that was the best it's ever done at this roundabout. I can, I'm can, i certain of that. The best it's ever done at that roundabout. That's, that's awesome. Let's see how it does on this turn. Seems like our GPS is slightly off. I mean, maybe not actually. It's on the road. I think that just the nav, the nav route is off. Uh, I don't know if that was. Is this a one? Yeah, this is a one-way road. 
I don't think they're supposed to go that direction. Oh, we're... I need to cancel this. Just trying to stop for my point here. And routing is taking so long. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it used to, used to say, say that in the memory. There we go. So we are clear from the left. Yeah, actually the last time we did this, pretty certain. I'm on car. The last time we did this, I'm, I think was Labor Day. Um, and of course, <laughs> of course, um, there, there, this road was closed, so I couldn't come through here. I think it was the last time we came in Asheville. So good, this is improvement. Fix this turn again. That, that's, uh, so yeah, we haven't been up here in a long time. So, that should have, I should have used my damn horn. Okay, that was a disengagement. I, I tried to let it go. Um, funny enough, I made that same mistake. Um, there was no one around, so there's, unfortunately, I wouldn't have hit anyone. Obviously, if I saw that, I would have, but, anyway, but that, that's not a turn lane when this car in front of me turned. She cut me off. That's a, like, completely illegal move. Um, probably doesn't know where she's going. Um, for sure. But, in her defense, I think those lines are very faded. It doesn't look like it, it looks like it was a turn lane. Um, but, yeah, still. Um, not a, not a good move on her part. I wonder if they redid the lines on this road. The lines seem a little bit better. I don't know. Yeah, so it's doing besides that incident. Which, man, those, those are two incidents where I feel like a woman's gotten in an accident. Hey, back to back. Oh, well, it does need to get over. It needs to get over in that left lane there. I'm kind of going to do its thing. It is doing better. There's a motorcycle here coming up behind me. needs to get over and it's probably not going to so I'm gonna go make it okay that was a disengagement because this truck decided to cut in front of me and my car is just not gonna acknowledge it kind of like the, the other car that's just bad luck honestly everyone that's really just bad luck um, people are just cutting out in front of me because they don't know where they want to go Let's see if it's gonna, um, there was a previous version that fixed this, the one before last time I was in Asheville. Um, it finally got in the correct lane for the first time. Though we have a car in the way, so that might prevent that. Um, got this guy in this truck, he doesn't know where, he, where he's going. It's probably fairly calming. I'm pressing the accelerator to keep it going. So it stayed in the correct lane. Excellent. So, I think we just had a little bad luck. Um, and staying in the correct lane again. Excellent, everyone. Uh, I think we just had a little bad luck with those two cars. Clearly, the first one was, um, that, like, the car needs to stop for someone doing the wrong move. It just didn't do it. This truck also didn't know where he's going and cut out in front of me. And my car should have slowed down, but didn't. Uh, again, two, um, probably two accidents I had to intervene to avoid. That's definitely, definitely something the car has to do. I trust the snapshot button, and we will see if that doesn't uh, go back to Tesla to train those scenarios. The bright side is on this section of road. Is the I think it's the first time it's ever stayed in this lane correctly, like all the way through. Usually, you have to correct it or do something dumb to get it to, to work correctly. Um, so that worked. Let's see how it's going to work on this lane here. Much more appropriate speed. <laughs> Not used to having a car in front of me on this road. Also, we need to change this route. Let me go ahead and, um, that's not going to cause a disengagement. I'm actually going to cancel this. 
I'm having to press the accelerator just to give it some more confidence. Of course, <laughs> then it accelerates <laughs> really fat, hard. Um, okay. These people don't realize <laughs> they're in the middle of the road. Okay. Considering it handled it pretty well. Yeah, you can see it had the door open on that car there. Let's see if it improves getting around here. I guess these this is new a little bit won't change. That was another disengagement. It went through the stop sign. Um, and it stopped at the right place. I thought it probably stopped. The car thought it stopped, but it didn't really stop in the correct spot. Um, so there are some improvements in this version. Ooh. Um, so I don't know if those people didn't check or I don't think there was a sign where I was supposed to stop and check, but, um, this person has decided to back up and go the opposite direction. Okay. Waiting for turn, and sure enough. Okay, and it's not 35 mile an hour, Jesus. Oh, I don't like driving in the city, everyone. Really don't like driving in the city. <laughs> um, too many close calls everywhere and a bunch of people is um every all school's out of session so there's probably a bunch of young college students visiting Asheville. A bunch of it's it's a tourist town. A bunch of people here out of out of the area that don't know where they're going. Um I still don't know where I'm going in Asheville half the time. I know this route really well now. <laughs> I hope you guys do too. But um I didn't what is it three disengagements, I think. Um, it looks like three disengagements for this whole a whole section here. So, a few things better, a few bad luck scenarios. Otherwise, I think it's better than the previous version. Um, and yeah, we're gonna call it that, everyone. There's a car behind me that needs to get around. But um, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.